federal workers are now back on the job on this Monday after reaching a tentative deal overnight at about 2 o'clock in the morning, really an 11th hour deal with Ottawa. This is excellent news for employees and for Canadians. This wasn't easy. We negotiated, we compromised, and we found creative solutions. And after many long days, nights, and weekends of hard work, we've reached fair and competitive deal for employees. The agreement covers about 120,000 employees, some of whom are back on the job once they received notification, of course, that a tentative deal had been reached. But about 35,000 people who work at the Canada Revenue Agency, they are still on strike. Let's bring in CTV's Annie Berger Oliver, who's in Ottawa, covering this story closely. We heard from Mona Fortier there, Annie, the uh, Treasury Board President. Uh, give us a sense here, the contours of this tentative agreement. Well, she says that this is a fair and very reasonable offer. She said, and you heard in that clip, that they've worked late nights and weekends to be able to get it. Coming into this negotiation, or at least this last kind of two weeks, the two main sticking points, Todd, were around wage increases and remote work. The union wanted a 13.5% increase over three years, and they wanted remote work enshrined in the collective agreement. The federal government at one point was only offering about 9% in the end, it ended up being about 12% over four years, and the federal government is offering a one-time lump sum payment of $2,500. What's interesting is to put this into context, you heard Mona Forche, the Treasury Board President, in that press conference earlier today, saying that the agreement that has been tentatively reached uh, will cost about $1.3 billion annually. And she says that's about half of the cost it would have been had PSAC, at the very beginning of this process, gotten every single request that they had wanted. I'm also curious about what's going to happen with the workers at the Canada Revenue Agency. During that press conference, a number of reporters asked the question, Annie, and the Treasury Board President, Monoforte, sort of seemed to indicate, look, there may be some positive news. We're hopeful uh, in the days ahead. Any sense where things stand there? Yeah, so she said, you know, this is being done by the agency. So there is a, a different minister who's responsible for it. But she did say, hopefully there will be some good news and she's aware that negotiations are continuing. And what we know with the CRA is that the holdup right now does seem to be wages and remote work. So very similar to the negotiations that have just reached an agreement with the PSAC Treasury Board Union. And the difference here, though, is that the wage request is much higher from the CRA. They're asking for a 20.5% increase over three years, and they want a 9% top-up. So that salary is much different. The union representing those CRA workers says that during the pandemic, they worked nights, weekends, long hours, very stressful, had to take calls from Canadians who in some cases berated them, and that um, you know they managed to deliver programs and pandemic relief supports that had never been created before. So the union says th these workers need to be recognized for the work during the very early days of the pandemic, and that they need wages that represent uh, inflation as well. Annie Bergeron-Oliver in Ottawa. Thank you, Annie.